Hello, this is Janusz from Majesty Skis. We would like to talk about free ride redefined. Yesterday we've been talking about touring redefined, and I've been presenting the touring range. Um, we've been talking about uh, Super Scout, Super and Supernova Carbon. Today I would like to talk about free ride range, which is actually extension of our touring range. Um, why do we call it a range redefined? Uh, yesterday, I was focused on um, technical aspects and also performance of touring skis. And um, I've been talking about the fact that our touring skis perform as all mountain skis on hardback. And uh, you, can find, you can feel the same performance as with regular skis, uh, alpine skis. Uh, with free ride skis, uh, here's a different story. Uh, we wanted to find a perfect ski, a ski that will be suitable for all kinds of conditions. Uh, as a free rider, you need a one tool to explore whole mountain, and you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, you never know what ski, what snow you're gonna have. Um, you don't know if it's gonna be powder snow, it's gonna be crusty, if it's gonna be transformed, and um, since you are exploring the whole area, whole mountain, you need to have versatile product to, uh, to have fun on, on, on the, uh, on, in the mountains. So um, we've been trying to find an ultimate product that will be suitable for hard pack and also powder. And um, of course, it's difficult to find a ski that will be perfect for open spaces and tree skiing at the same time. Um, so we started to work on different um, product criteria. So first of all, we wanted our free ride range to be light um, because we, we are aware of the fact that to get fresh powder, you need to hike, you need to, uh, you need to use uh, touring bindings. So we designed our free ride range to be comfortable with, uh, with tech bindings and um, we decided to make it very light. So we used Pavlovnia wood core with poplar inserts. Uh, this construction is uh, much more solid than touring range because free ride skis are being used in a different way. Um, so it's a durable construction. Also we use here we also use um, textile plates and uh, carbon fibers and carbon aramid fibers. So construction is uh, basically similar to the ones that we have in the uh, touring range, but also reinforced by inserts from, made from uh, poplar wood core. So in terms of lightness, uh, Havoc, which is the, the main free ride ski in the category, weights uh, for, for weight, for size 181, weights one, 1,800 grams, which is very good for uh, free touring categories. And this is a solid free ride ski. So uh, if you comp combine it with uh, R12 binding, which is uh, 330 grams, um, you've got a um, product that weighs around two kilos. So this is a very good, uh, very good weight for that kind of ski. And um, looking at the current situation, this is the product that gives you sensational feeling in the mountains and still with touring uh, capabilities. So I think we kind of way with our vision of uh, free ride, free tour skis, we, uh, we launched it even before Corona time. So, so uh, that's a big advantage. Um, but lightness is, is the, the, the weight is not the, the most important thing here. We also have to remember about this, um, the fact that we still need a free ride ski it needs to be a product for all the conditions that you can meet in mountains. So um, with, with Havoc, because I will start with this one, with Havoc, uh, you've got camber underfoot and uh, rocker at the tips and slightly arched tails. So, so you've got construction that is solid on hardback and it's really good for powder. It's slightly different than 
construction of uh, supernova. Uh, it's uh, if if we would compare those two, Havok is um, bigger ski. It, it is 110 underfoot, and um, you actually feel like as it is like a free ride ski, not a free touring ski, but with the with the lightness that you wouldn't expect in that kind of product. Um, but the most important thing here with skiing redefined and free ride redefined is the uh, like the construction and specs. We use four radiuses in side cut and four radiuses in rock line. That's why we call it four by four um, construction. And uh, what are the benefits? Benefits are following um, with four different radiuses in side cut. You can um, diversify the radius that you are, you are using at the moment. So um, the differences between radiuses are not that big, which, um, which gives you the stability and uh, gives you um, like the, this uh, continuation of the turn. And so, so there are no big discrepancies be between um, radiuses lengths. But if you are going to steep sections, um, you are leaning forward and you can use the shorter turn. And that's, that's a great benefit. And um, the, the ski works flawlessly. You can actually twist the turn. You can use longer edge to um, radius to, um, to keep on going fast in, uh, in open spaces. So it, it, you have to try it out because this is, uh, this is something that is really difficult to describe in, in few words. But in general, you can do sharp turns and you can, lock, you can make long turns just because you can use different radiuses while you are skiing. And um, you don't have to worry that ski is not stable because we've been working on this project for two years and we managed to build a ski that is very solid on, in high speeds on hard pack. And at the same time, it's very maneuverable. And um, this is just because of this combination of, of uh, radiuses. Um, um, so, so you don't have to think about two or three pairs of free ride skis in your quiver. You just pick one and that's enough for your free ride adventure. Um, four by four in the rocker line, what does it mean? Um, in previous collections, we've been using two types of rocker. One was based on uh, the circle and um, the other was based on uh, ellipse. And uh, here we have four different uh, circles that combine one rocker line that is uh, um, that doesn't go up too fast, and uh, the tip looks like uh, like a regular tip. So uh, you don't push obstacles before you, like heavy snow or um, this this the ski doesn't sink into the snow. So this is like the perfect combination of, of construction, and um, it also supports the. the um, Contact edge because um, when we have when we have a rocket line that is that is going like very gentle here, you can still use the, the contact edge that you have here. And um, with four radiuses, we could extend the, the points of uh, contact edge that you actually use from from the tip almost to the to the end of the ski, uh, which which normally. Uh, it's not possible to, to process. Um, to make the long story short, you've got long contact edge that is like very good and stable, but at the same time, um, it will not make you ski only like a straight line. So you still can twist the turn. You can even differentiate your turning style while skiing. And um, you might ask, why we have two models in the range if we say that this ski is uh, uh, the best one and uh, it should be the only choice. Um, we decided to make two types of, um, like say, two types of approach. Havok is a directional free ride ski with front rocker and with a small, uh, small early, early rise at the, at the tails. And uh, Havok, the other ski, is 118 underfoot, which is like beefier ski, and it's a twin tip. So you've got um, 
rocker at the tips and rocker at the tails. So Vanguard will be more playful, more new school, and Havoc will be more directional, more charging ski. And, uh, but the fact, they, they what's the most, most important? They ski similar. So you got also four ADCs in, in, uh, in Vanguard. So like the feeling is very similar, but um, you have to choose which type of skier are you. If you are going for fast lines, directional style, um, you go for Havoc and Vanguard is for those who need uh, twin tip, who want to go like a new school, uh, free ski, free ride um, style. Um, the ski on the right is Fadera. It's, um, it's the same, basically the same ski as um, Havoc, but with uh, uh, but in a woman specific, and um, it's also four by four. Um, it's actually basically the same ski, and uh, it's being used by Zuza Vite that is competing in Freeride World Tour this year, and she's been skiing on this ski for uh, almost a year now, and she's very uh, happy with the product. And uh, the most important thing is that she's using the same ski in all conditions that she uh, that she finds uh, actually on the snow. So if it's like spring skiing, if it's uh, beginning of the season, if it's hard pack, it's powder, uh, you can check her website, you can check her Instagram. She's skiing on the same model all the time. So um, this shows that the ski is very versatile and can be used in all, almost all uh, like types of uh, skiing activities. On even on slope uh, and uh, on power days. So uh, when we're talking about um, the, um, uh, different types of, of uh, usage, we we use um, tech bindings for those skis, but we also use like normal alpine skis, the uh, alpine bindings. So um, it's it's just up to you to decide what type of uh, bindings you want to use. The ski is so versatile. That you can mount uh, tech bindings in smaller size and uh, uh, alpine bindings in bigger size if you want to make a differentiation uh, of, of the actual skiing, um, what type of skiing you want to, to, to make. Um, like I said, uh, the free ride collection is uh, an extension of, uh, of touring range. So basically, um, this is the, the, the best scenario for, for this season. Uh, if, if you are into free ride and uh, you don't want to pick um, skis that uh, have 85, 91 underfoot and uh, you're accustomed to, to bigger skis, uh, I think we've got a solution for you. So do you have any questions regarding uh, specs or, or uh, the whole idea behind uh, free ride redefined concept? Okay, so if you want to know more about 4x4 concept and uh, skis, please visit majestyskis.com. Um, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you very much. Stay tuned.